Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how we can expose our local web server to public internet. Let me give one quick example what I mean by that. I'm working on my personal blog site with Gatsby and this application is actually working on my local host. Let's go to the browser and this application is running on my local host. Before deploying this to production, if I want to share this with a friend or a teammate, I cannot actually do that. Now I'm going to show you a way without deploying to production, we can expose our local host server to the public internet and we can share that link to our friends so that they can check out your project. NGROC will help us to do that. Let's see how that works. So we have our application in our local host, for example, 8000, it can be any port, then we can connect our service or our localhost application to ngrock ngrock will provide one shareable url and we can share that url to everyone and any person can access that url in the public internet let's see how we can do that i will first download ngrock as i am using mac os i will download for mac os but it will work also for windows and linux Chrome downloaded the zip file in my downloads directory. Let's unzip that. We can try now if ngrock is working properly in our machine. To do that, we can try ngrock help command. So seems like ngrock is working in our machine. As we remember, my blog site was running on localhost 8000. Let's go there. It is running on 8000. We will now expose this 8000 port to public internet. And we can do with this HTTP command. 8000. So we can see our localhost 8000 is actually mapped to this URL. Now if we copy this URL and go to the browser and hit this URL, we can see this is working also if i share this url to any of my friends or teammates they all can access this url as it is available in the public internet awesome right it just takes one command to share this localhost url to the public internet now if we keep these two windows side by side if i refresh here we can see all the requests are actually coming to my local machine so my laptop is working as a server right now. Cool, we just tested one React Gatsby application. Now let's try one Node.js and Express application. I'm currently running my simple Node.js Express application in my local host. This is the Express application running on 3000 port and the previous React Gatsby application was running on 8000. This Express application has also one ping endpoint which is API slash ping. After exposing our localhost server to public internet with ngrock, we will see if this whole thing works like as it is in my localhost, right? Let's try to use ngrock for this. This is 3000 port. It is actually already exposed and we will copy this URL and we will go to our browser and we can see it is actually working fine and let's try with our ping endpoint awesome it also works here another cool thing is that we can see one https version here let's also try that pretty cool right now i will cancel this server with ctrl c in my terminal let's try to refresh here and it is not working because we just canceled serving from our local host after running ngrock http command there is a special port which will be available afterwards. If we go to localhost 4040, then we can see this inspect slash HTTP page. What it does, if we refresh here, all the requests coming to our localhost are listed here. If we do, let's say API slash ping, then we can see there is API slash ping here. This is basically the whole network logs in the same page. Also, if we want to replay things, then we can also do it pretty easily and i really like this dashboard here we can see this response we can see this response headers and we can see this 
request headers and everything this whole ng rock thing is pretty cool if you also like it please click the like button also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and if you have any feedback please share in the comment below thanks everyone ciao